I'm eating. You cannot eat fast food. Ever wonder which foods we consume the most? Well, thanks to a suggestion by YouTube user Just Some Guy Without a Mustache, you can find out. Thank you, Just Some Guy Without a Mustache, for the suggestion. Here is our list of the top 10 most popular foods that we eat the most. Good grief. You Saiyans are like bottomless pits. Hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Hamburgers are delectable. Hamburgers are delightful. Hamburgers are just darn delicious. Hamburgers are also a very personal kind of meal. You get to customize your burger so that it tastes just as you imagine. You can top that sucker with anything. Tomatoes, onions, caramelized onions, mushrooms, bacon, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, and the list goes on. Pickles! I knew you were a pickle person when you walked in here. The list of things you can put atop a hamburger is actually quite endless. There are the crazy toppings that we already know about, like fries, onion rings, Doritos, Cheetos, eggs, or even mac and cheese. Then there are the crazy toppings that you may never have thought of, like Nutella, or even peanut butter. A burger is a staple. A burger is so universal and yet is never the same. That is what makes it one of the most popular foods that we eat all the time. Not only can each and every one of us modify our burgers to our liking, but we can choose where we buy our burgers and who doesn't love having a choice. As far as a menu item goes, the hamburger is pretty popular. It sits on most menus across the US and is available 24-7. If you want a burger, no matter what the time is, there will be a place where you can get a burger. This is a pretty great freedom to have. Matter of fact, it's the best burger I've had in years. Pizza. Pizza time. It is fair to say that most people love a good slice of pizza. Pizza is not only a thing we eat, it is a food that is often shared. We eat pizza with friends and family. A box is passed around and slices are chosen. Sometimes pizza is the celebratory food choice after a game or in class if you win the spelling bee or raise the most money for charity or things of that nature. Pizza is a bringer together. Pizza is a food for building relationships, not ruining them. Think back to any time you have been on a dating site and seen likes pizza. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. Doesn't that fill you with some kind of reassuring comfort? Now imagine if it said the opposite. Imagine if you saw hates pizza. Well, wouldn't that be a bit odd? Pizza can become the deciding factor in which way you swipe. Essentially, pizza can either cement a relationship or rip it to shreds. So for all you pizza haters out there, just know that the masses love this food. The mass Masses accept this food as part of them and how they conduct day-to-day -day food business. If you are a pizza hater, you just have to be ready because this is a food that is so popular and is eaten oh so often. A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Tacos. You're talking to somebody with extraordinarily high taco standards, just to be clear. Tacos, tacos, tacos. There's not much to say other than yummy, right? Tacos were said to have been invented in Mexico at some point in the 18th or 19th centuries. The reason this is such a huge amount of time is because the actual story of how tacos came into being is unknown. Some people believe it was a food invented by the miners in Mexico. Others think tacos could have been bartered in the Aztec times. People have accepted it and adopted it into their eating habits. Quite evidently, Taco Bell has championed the taco so very much that it has named the restaurant after it. However, Taco Bell is not the be-all end-all for tacos. Tacos can be enjoyed all over the place, even at home. Taco Tuesdays are popular, fun, and an Instagrammable way to bring this popular food into the house. It's Taco Tuesday! After all, tacos have so many colors. They are so beautiful. They have such a nice aesthetic. But what you forget is that tacos make the biggest mess right? When it is taco night, you typically think, ah, oh, good, not that much cooking. It won't be that much of a mess. Wrong. Tacos require so many little items, and most of us end up having to pack bowl after bowl into the dishwasher, or wash bowl after bowl by hand, causing our fingers to get all pruney. But enjoying yummy tacos is worth making a mess. These tacos are no joke. Chicken tenders. When you're on a chicken bender, grab a box of chicken tenders. Buck, buck, Bye.
If burgers are not for you, then it is very likely that you go for the chicken tenders instead. Chicken tenders are a very solid backup, and in fact, they are even a pretty stellar first choice, too. Why would you order them now at your local fast food joint as opposed to a hamburger? The theory is that adults love chicken tenders because they ate them when they were younger. You remember the smell and the taste. Clear out the clutter before the taste police arrive. You remember the feeling. You can picture mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or whoever it was who would feed them to you. Chicken tenders are very often the go-to choice for the little kitties, and maybe that is why they are so popular for teens and adults alike. Chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, chicken fingers, chicken strips, this kind of chicken goes by many names. So just close your eyes, think of the name you call it, and think about when you ate them as a kid. Doesn't it make you want to go out there and get some right now? Will your chicken tenders heed the call of science? Soda. I don't remember buying this brand of soda. Soda, or pop, or soft drink, whatever you want to call it, it is consumed a lot. People drink soda the way they should be drinking water. People bring their soda with them when they go on vacation. People buy soda in bulk so as to never be without. Soda is loved across America. A few cans of soda can also be pretty filling. <laughs> Goodness! Excuse me. Hence it's sometimes being consumed as a sort of meal replacement. But as you all surely know, soda is jam packed with sugar. It is like liquid candy, not to mention all of the artificial coloring that goes into a can. Soda is not the best thing for you, and yet it is ingested by millions. Soda is like the bad boyfriend you could just never get rid of, or that annoying friend who isn't really your friend that you just can't shake. It is always there and it is consistent. It is thirst quenching. Soda is also very familiar. If you had a Coke when you were a kid and you have one now, they taste the same to you. You know what you get with a soda, even all of the bad stuff. We can all admire the honesty of soda companies. So enjoy your soda. Just be aware of the amount of sugar you are taking in. Mmm, that must be the sugar. French fries. French fried potatoes. Yep, french fries. Burger with fries. Nuggets with a side of fries. Can we have the family pack with extra fries? Fries, fries, and more fries. Did you know that the consumption of french fries can even be sort of healthy? A study done with Harvard Health Publishing at Harvard Medical School has worked to prove this by disproving all of the negative pieces, which state how bad fries are for you. They say that eating fries is not associated with a higher risk of dying. Isn't that great news. You can eat fries and not feel as guilty as you might have felt before. I'll meet up with you later. I got the bonus fry. The study does state that fries are high in fat, which can eventually lead to a higher blood pressure or put you at risk for cardiovascular disease, but that they are not a weapon of dietary destruction. Portions matter. Frequency matters. But please, eat your fries in peace. It's about what the fries represent. What? All food! Oreos. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. That's right. Oreos are popular, and they are eaten a lot. Are you a biter into or a twister aparter? Do you dunk your Oreo? Do you like double stuffed or regular? Have you tried the birthday cake kind? Do you like Oreo ice cream? Or buying the Oreo graham cracker-like crumbs and making your own Oreo dessert? What kind of Oreo lover are you? The cream is the best part. Cookie is the best part. How do you identify? Because the question isn't really, do you like Oreos? It is, how do you like your Oreos? They have the perfect amount of cookies in a box, and they are consistent in size, look, and flavor. We love you, Oreo. We love you so much. Excuse me? Oreo? It's a classic cookie. Ice cream. There's lots of flavors out there. There's Rocky Road and cookie dough. So ice cream is popular. Apparently over 85% of Americans have ice cream in their freezer at any given time. Crazy, right? That is a pretty high figure. What is even crazier is that there are so many flavors and vanilla is still number one. This just goes to show that ice cream is about comfort and what we know. Yeah, it's delicious. It just goes right down. It's ice cream. 
Just like most foods on this list, ice cream is a go-to because it is a consistent and trustworthy classic. It is also so joyous. Most people eat ice cream when they are happy. There is the movie-like exception in which you eat ice cream after you have been dumped and use it to console you, but even that is kind of like a happy moment because you turn to it for comfort. You turn to ice cream to feel better. Ice cream is a winner, no matter what. You put that ice cream in your mouth and you are in very, very, very big trouble. Apple pie. Like warm apple pie. Yeah? Yeah. Americans love their apple pies, and that is why it is iconic and eaten a lot. Something can be iconic, but not be so popular, but not the apple pie. What kind of pie is this? Apple pie is an American symbol that is regularly eaten and enjoyed. Apple pies are even better when you know where the apples came from. Did you pick them yourself? Or did you go and pick up the pie at a local bakery that has apple trees in the back? Location is very much tied to the apple pie. The type of apples used makes a difference, and it is always part of the discussion when eating an apple pie. The apple pie can also be paired with another item that has already found its way onto this list, and that is, of course, ice cream. There is nothing more comforting than having a warm slice of apple pie on Thanksgiving with a beautiful scoop of vanilla ice cream on top, or next to it, not sure what kind of eater you are. Apples, ice cream, that special crust whose recipe has been in the family for generations. That is what an apple pie is to Americans, and that is why we like it. So delicious, Stewie. Best pie ever. Hot dogs. Do you want one of the hot dogs? And then there were hot dogs. There is no telling what makes a perfect hot dog. Is it the cooking of the wiener or the bun? Is it the choice of condiments or is it in how you layer them? The magic of the hot dog is personal. I like in here with hot dogs. It don't bother me none. <laughs> a hot dog is both universal and unique. A perfect hot dog is hard to come by. There are so many out there. The streets are saturated with vendors or shops or fast food chains that offer you the best hot dog in America. There are so many out there, and when you find one of quality, you must take a moment and ask yourself, why is this one so darn good? Think about the art of assembling a hot dog. It is like the most done dance in America, the hot dog dance. The music the music of the hot dog dance is just as individual as the hot dog itself, and even that is magical. Every perfect hot dog moment is one to remember, because too often do we have horrible hot dogs. Hot dogs need to be amazing if they are going to be eaten. We love them so much, and we eat so many of them, that they better be yummy in our tummies. Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. Take another bite out of one of our other great videos and tap that screen. And if it's your first time here, show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.